and welcome back to Unforeseen Incidents. I just have to remember what we were doing. Because I haven't played this in a week. We talked to this dude, and he... didn't want to tell us something, probably. Some kind of scrap metal sculpture in the shape of a sword. It's pretty metal. I'm not gonna try and pull it out of the rock. Becoming King of England is the last thing I need on my plate. <laughs> Show some interest in art. Oh, okay, so if you look at all the sculptures, you get an achievement. Cool. Hello again. Hello. Hello. What's the deal with those three paintings again? See the three paintings. Oh, yeah, the Miss triptych. Talk to people. Learn the story. Okay, and then you'll show me this masterpiece that explains everything. Yes? Artists steal in questions, not answers. Just great. Thanks. I think I understand your triptych. You think God era stupid? You didn't even leave. <clears throat> Sorry, we'll be back soon. I understand it without having even to see it. I'm a true artist. I can envision it. Fine, I'll go look at your paintings while you read your comic book or whatever. Can I go inside your house? I can't- But, just better prepared. The bunker looks pretty secure. The ca Maybe Cardero's not- I can't believe Cardero lives out here all alone. But, I guess it's not so different from my place back in Yelltown. Just better prepared for a Russian invasion. Yeah, but it, it's nothing like your place in Yelltown. It's better. The bunker looks pretty secure. The kind of place you'd go if you thought the world was ending. Maybe Cardero's not as crazy as people say. Maybe he's a visionary, actually. But I can't go inside his bunker. Yet. Oh, we still have to go to these peaks. Right. Um, let's go to the diner and look at those paintings again. Conifer Canyon. I can't remember what all of these locations were. Or if I've been to them. This forest is full of branches, leaves, and dirt. And they say I should sweep my place. It's a forest, man. Alright, let's look at them. So these paintings are by an artist called Cardero. He must know something about where that symbol comes from. Yeah, since he painted these and put the symbol everywhere. Okay. Rhonda's car keys. Hi there. Hi, honey. What can I get you? Hi, honey. You know, I could just order sandwiches endlessly here. Endless supp a supply of sandwiches. That's probably what dreams are made of. What do you know about those three paintings? The cryptic triptych? <laughs> you know, I think these three were part of a big transition for Cardero. He always used to say his art came from inside him, from his imagination. But when he came to the final painting, he started using real subjects. From life, he called it. I keep teasing. Asking when he'll paint my picture. Do you know the names of the paintings? Truth be told, the names never made a lot of sense to me. I mean, I remember that the one with the sun is called Don. Naturally, it's my favorite. I think the others are called Salvation and Misery. But which is which? Search me. Maybe the true artists want to leave you wondering. Ah, tricky little bastards. Remind me what you said about Cardero's paintings. Well... Don with the Sun is my favorite of the three. But like I told you, these paintings were kind of a turning point for Cardero. By the time he did the last one, he'd started painting from life. Can you remember which one he did last? Not for sure, honey. I'm so used to seeing them as a trio, I don't really remember. Alrighty then. I have a question about Colonel Jervis. What is it, honey? Let's talk about something else. I was just about to leave. See you later, honey. See ya. What can you tell me about these paintings? You've been staring at one for a while. What's up? Nothing much. Do you know anything about Cardero's paintings? Whose paintings? Cardero? He did the paintings on the wall? Don't know anything about them. Sorry. You better ask someone else. Okay, so I have to go talk to everyone about these paintings. Great. Remind me why your co-worker is such a bully. He's always criticizing me. Calling me stupid, dimwit, doofus, klutz. Telling me, go to hell, ragging on the stash. Not the stash. Not the stash. Catch you later. Bye. It's a... It's an interesting stash. Kind of looks like a cleaning brush. So these paintings... He must know... So these paintings... 
Let's find someone else to talk to about these paintings. Maybe the old man on the farm. Or Colonel Jarvis. Maybe. Hi, Colonel. Stop calling me that. Do you know anything about Cardero's triptych? His what? The three paintings in the diner. He calls them Salvation, Misery, and Dawn. Ah, uh, yes. The forest was the only one that appealed to me. I know the place. It's a clearing in Greystone Woods. The trees are so tall and thin. It makes you feel like a kid again. Real peaceful. Do you remember what the forest painting was called? I always thought it ought to be named Salvation, being so peaceful and all. But he named one of the other two Salvation. Artists, huh? So I have to figure out which is which. Remind me what you said about Cardero's forest painting. Well, in my opinion, he ought to have called it Salvation, instead of whatever he chose in the end. It reminds me of my childhood, you see. Maybe because I know the part of Greystone he based it on. So the woods one is not Salvation, so it has to be Misery. See you later. Goodbye. Since the Dawn one is named Dawn. Farm. Hey, old timer. What can you tell me about paintings and guns? Hello. Yep. Yep. You definitely paid your electricity bill then? A gentleman always pays his dues. Then I guess you should call the power company. Reckon I will if the power don't come back on soon. Have you heard of Cardero the artist? Artist? More like a crusty old shut-in. I've seen his art. It don't amount to much if you ask me. Do you know anything about Cardero's triptych? His what? How well do you think I know the man? I mean the, the three paintings in the diner. Oh, those eyesores. I don't know why Rhonda don't take him down. I was there when he brought in that big yeller son. Must have been the second or third he done. It'd look better than a hobo's campfire, if you ask me. I told him as much. He just eyeballed me like I was crazy. You mentioned one of Car- Yeah, the son was the second or third one he done. But he should have quit before he got started. If you ask me, an artist has no business painting in this day and age. No siree. Am I the only one who remembers Marcel Duchamp? Any news about Yelltown fever? It's a crying shame, sure enough. I used to have an uncle in Yelltown. But that's what you get if you pack folk in like a cattle car. Disease spreads. It ain't natural. People need space. Air. Yelltown is hardly the big city. What about Port Nicola? Never been. No plans to go. Fair enough. I heard about some strange occurrences in the forest. Have you noticed anything odd? Mm-hmm. There's something happening out there, sure enough. Did you also hear a weird noise? No, but I saw something. What'd you see? What'd you see? Couldn't rightly say what it was. A few nights ago, I dropped into the diner for a beer and a little supper. It was a clear night, so I figured I'd walk home. Took a little shortcut through the forest, and then it came. This creature crashing out of the undergrowth. It was a, a beast like I, I had never saw before. A Sasquatch? Looked kind of like a small bear, but with these black, greasy claws, acrid stench, wild, staring eyes. I get off a couple rounds, and its sky hoots off into the brush on all fours. Oh, doggy! And its howl. Oh, a shrieking, blood-curdling cry, like he was throttling a fox. Intense, man. Super intense, man. Did you ever see the beast again? Neither hide nor hair, thank the Lord. I sure hope I don't run into it. Rest easy, son. I ain't heard that howl since the night I saw it. I reckon I scared it clean out of Greystone. We're gonna meet it, aren't we? We're definitely gonna meet with the creature. Or maybe it wasn't a creature. I better go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Do I have enough information to confront Cardero? Why do I keep going here? 
stream. I can't do anything here. Who knows what horrors lurk in those swift and murky waters. Also, these sneakers are classics. Right, so you don't want to mess them up. The stream is running pretty fast after all that rain. I can't get across. Who oh. knows what horrors lurk? Also, these sneakers... Sneakers are classics. Right, I have to cross the stream to get to the scarecrow. Right? So, this is how I die. An evil scarecrow. Good to know. Good to know. I can't get to it because I don't want to mess up my classic sneakers. Damn good coffee. Damn good coffee. Harwood Energy. Discharge channel. Looks like the power company is channeling stormwater through this meadow. Well, let's try... Where was Cardero? Was he here? I can't remember. Yes, he was. Man, he lives far away. I've just been through like a, a really massive trek. Hello again. Hello. Hello. I just risked my life, you know, on this dangerous quest at night through the forest full of wild animals. I think I understand your triptych. Mm -hmm. And tell Cardero about salvation. Uh, salvation depicts. You know what? I'm. I think I'm just gonna improvise and try them. <laughs> salvation depicts a sunrise. I think the sun is like God or hope or something. Hmm. What about misery? Misery. Misery depicts a forest. Makes me think of a lonely child lost in the woods. Hmm. Now Don. Don depicts a violent struggle. I think it represents the dawn of a new enemy in your life. What about the sequence I completed them? Uh, I don't know. The first painting was Misery. The second painting was Dawn, and the final painting was Salvation. No, no. You lack feeling for the art. Try to get to know it better. Huh. Okay. Fine. I'll try to know it better. Take two. The first painting was Mid. The second painting was Self. And the final. No, no. Huh. Salvation depicts. I think this. Mm. Misery depicts makes me think. Mm. Don, I think. What about the sequence I can. The first painting was Salvation. The second painting was Dawn. And the final painting was Misery. You made an effort, good, but not enough to really understand. Huh, okay. Okay, so does that mean that I'm getting closer? Salvation depicts a forest. I think it shows how nature can give us peace. Hmm. What about misery? Misery depicts a sunrise. It's like when it's too sunny, you know? Hmm. Now, Don. <laughs> when it's too sunny. Yeah, it's terrible. I hate it. Don depicts a violent struggle. I think it represents the dawn of a new enemy in your life. What about the sequence I completed them? The first painting was Salvation, the second painting was Dawn, and the final painting was Misery. No, no. You lack feeling for the art. Try to get to know it better. Huh. Okay. I think I understand your triptych. Mm -hmm. Salvation depicts a violent struggle. I think it's you fighting for your life, trying to escape something. Hmm. What about misery? Misery was the forest, because Jarvis said that. Misery depicts a forest. Makes me think of a lonely child lost in the woods. Hmm. Now dawn. Dawn depicts a sunrise. The brightness kind of makes you forget how dark the other paintings are. What about the sequence I completed them? The first painting was Salvation. 
the second painting was dawn, and the final painting was misery. Mm -hmm. And what does the sequence tell you? Well, I feel like you're digging back into your past, like something you fought to get away from. Is that it? Did I get it right? There is no right and wrong in art. You found your own meaning. That means more. You are ready to see the masterpiece. Yes! Cool. Finally. Took a bit of trying. But what, what are you talking about? I tried like so many variants and only this one worked. I found my own meaning. I found my own meaning and it was the only one that worked. Will you show me the masterpiece now? I have to find out what that symbol means. The masterpiece is hidden in a remote cave. Cadero will lead you there. You are ready to see it now. Cadero just doesn't know if he is ready to see it again. Follow. Another trek in the middle of the night. Hey, Colonel. So, is this the place? How are we gonna find a masterpiece with all this junk lying around? Um, I think the junk is the masterpiece. Oh. Didn't Cardero tell you it was gonna explain everything? The ape climbs to the apex. Well, that's real good, but... The salamander eats its brother. You okay, buddy? Take out and shoot the three-legged mare. The worker at carries four times its weight. The eagle, the eagle, the eagle, the eagle, the eagle! Cardero! What do we do? Is it some kind of reaction to this place? I, I had a bad allergic reaction when I was a kid and I nearly died. We need a doctor! Calm down, Pendrel. He does this sometimes. Not usually this bad, though. What, what, what was he saying? The eagle? The, the salamander? He can get stuck in a bad memory, is all. I'll stay with him and keep him safe. He's shivering cold. Can you make a fire? Sure. I'm great at survival and whatnot. Sure. I'm great at fires and whatnot. Can I take some of the firewood from your cabin? No way. I give you the key, you could waltz off with that virus canister. Come on. I, I thought you wanted firewood. Oh, jeez, is this kid getting dumber? You're in a forest, jackass. Find some. Take this book and use your brain. Oh, now we have to do some reading? Yay. Oh, hell yeah. Survival mode. Nature handbook. Making fire. Most outdoorsmen have taken to carrying a ferro ferrocerium, or fire steel rod in place of flint. But the traditionalist will look for flint, it's hard-wearing grey stone with a smooth, glassy surface. Where can we find it? We'll produce the all-important spark. And we need dry leaves and dry kindling. In most situations you'll find yourself relying on the holy grail of tinder, chaga mushroom. Tinder fungus. Okay, we have to find birch trees. Recognizable by its burnt charcoal exterior. Collect dry twigs and sticks. Well, we... I remember seeing some sticks at the diner, and he didn't want to pick them up for some fucking reason. But now he will! Fuel wood. Two good reasons not to cut down living trees for your campfire. You'll incur the dreaded wrath of the park ranger. And secondly, the wood will not be dry enough. Look for a trunk with no leaves and peeling bark, and choose some small branches. Exercise caution. Dead bows are brittle and come tumbling down easily. Cool. Hey, we're learning something as well as playing the game. Do I have a knife? I do. I have my multi-tool. And coffee. For staying awake. Never light a fire or barbecue inside a tent or motorhome. Yes, don't light a fire inside somewhere. Don't abandon a lit fire. It was actually recently uh, where we used to live. Some students decided to use one of those one-time grills and they grilled and had a party or whatever. And then they just threw the grill in the, con the trash container without, without extinguishing it. And of course the 
The whole fucking container caught fire. We're fucking idiots. Oh, and we're gonna go foraging for herbs. Because we're probably gonna need some medicine for uh, Cardero, since he's freaking out. Cool. What? What is that thing? I was hoping Cardero's masterpiece would explain a few things. Apparently not. I brought me some snacks. Cardero is not the only one in need of healing. Looks like cushions from an old car seat. Did Cardero used to sleep out here? Cardero has put seat cushions at the base of his crazy sculpture. Looks like Did Cardero used to. What? What is that? That microwave has readied its last meal. I'm sure Cardero had a very good reason for nailing a microwave to a tree. It's probably full of symbolism or something.